Coal is getting stronger for the service dues to be replaced from all corners, with the presidency remaining, remaining firm on its position to retain them. Secretary experts who spoke exclusively to CVB News 24 have given their thoughts on the matter, as well as ways forward in the war against insecurity. Wilson Omoni reports. Despite the previous meetings held between the service chiefs and federal lawmakers where supposed resolutions were reached, the legislative chambers are echoing their call for the change of those who head the security outfit. One lawmaker threatened to resign if the security situation continues to deteriorate, particularly in the northeast. But speaking in Lagos, senior special assistant to the president, Ajuri Ngalale, said the current team of service chiefs have carted a roadmap for the near future. Hence, the president's continued trust in them. The security experts do not agree on that position. They still believe there are more reasons for a change than a stay. The regulations are clear. You are appointed a service chief, you serve for two years and leave. The argument that I don't like is remove them because we are not winning the Boko Haram war. That is a mistake. It has nothing to do with them. I'm not in support of JASAC, but I am in support of their uh, honorable resignation uh, because uh, they've done so well. And the reason I want them to honorable resign is for their own benefits uh, because uh, they've, take, they've taken a lot of praises. And uh, when you take a lot of praises and your followers who are supposed to also uh, become generals, become major generals, become lieutenant generals, who joined the Defense Academy 33, 34, 35 years ago, uh, does not have that opportunity to become a general, I think he will be psychologically demoralized, emotionally demoralized, and motivational-wise he will be demoralized as well. And that uh, is going to give room for sabotage. The war has been on for more than a decade and these ones have proposed some solutions that may bring it to an end. Uh, I, I want the Nigerian Army and the National Assembly to pass it as a law that the Nigerian military has taken this war upon themselves without proper integration with the police. Uh, the police needs to come on board this 21st century, this 2020. They need to take hold of our territory because the military cannot go and take over the territory from the enemies, stay in that territory and hold the territory, then start rebuilding the territory. That is, that is Tri tri triple triple uh, uh, engagement. Coming into power, a campaign promise from the president, Muhammad Buhari, was to end the insurgency. With three years left in his tenure, Nigerians are eagerly waiting for the former general to crush an enemy of the state. Wilson Omoni, Silverbird News 24, Lagos.